This is a quick video to develop balance. And it's particularly good if, um, well, I know it was good for me when I was recovering from some knee stuff uh, that I was going through. And I would recommend that in the front of your mat, you either have a block or like I have a couch where you have a wall or something in front of you. If you feel like standing on one leg can be precarious, right? So not everyone can kneel like this. And so that's fine because we're actually starting from here. You can have your knees a little wide if you want. And as we go further into the sequence and you go to step forward, feel free to step forward and have a slight turnout to the hip, knees, and toes, like a little one, okay? And if you can't get comfortable unless your toes are way the heck turned out, then just make sure your knees are kind of riding and tracking in that area too, and that you try a little, little bit different um, directions as you go. So we'll start with the left leg, because we usually start with the right. And as you breathe here, you can take your hands to your belly, and then use your next comfortable exhale to step forward. Now this is where the blocks might come in handy, so you might have them with you. And as you step forward, you need to try to do so with some sort of control. That might be challenging, which is fine. So if you try that and you need those blocks, go and grab them, or have a wall next to you. And we'll lean forward just enough to rest the torso and curl the back toe under. Now, if you have blocks, you can certainly take them with you. So taking a breath or two here, when you inhale, the belly hits the leg. When you exhale, pull the belly off of the leg. Just do that a couple of times. Try to press into the front heel. Maybe every time you exhale and the belly comes off the leg, you lift the back knee a little bit. It's really is going to depend on your baseline strength. Next time you exhale, pull your belly off your leg, lift your back knee, and step forward. You can be quick. And then take a really nice soft stance here. Hands on blocks in front of you might be a really good idea. When I say soft, I mean knees are bent, knees are wide, and you're allowing yourself to relax your head. And then from here, either with your hands on the blocks or not, hands can go to hips if you're feeling lucky or balanced. And then as you exhale, like you pull your belly away from your leg, step your right foot back, take your knee down slowly. Again, you could have had your blocks with you to do that. All right, so I'll demonstrate this with the blocks. So you may or may not need the blocks to pull that back knee in. It's totally fine. And then next time we exhale, we'll kind of lift up and hug and we'll take the right foot forward. Blocks could have been handy there. Coming in, curling the back toe, taking a breath or two with or without hand support. Every time you exhale, you want to curl the belly muscles off the leg. And then next time you feel comfortable, you can lift the belly muscles, lift the back knee, and then step forward real quick or slow. And then take another rag doll. If you're feeling a little heavy in the sinuses or you don't want to go forward, you can always take your hands. That feels more comfortable. A little bend in the knees is always good. Good. All right, so we'll take that back down. If we take the blocks, use them by the feet. Step the left leg back, let the back knee come down. You could have no hand support. And then as you come back, you might need the hand support again. Okay, so we're going to do that again. If you find that you would rather have a wall next to you, you're welcome to move your mat. You've got time. All right, so we'll do the left leg forward. We'll lean forward, curl the back toe, inhale, and then as you exhale, either with the blocks or not, reach forward, draw the belly off the leg, lift the back leg this time. It doesn't have to be as high as mine. I'm just an example. I'm not like a protege. And then we'll step forward and find a chair pose. Take a breath or two. You can take your genie arms. These are my favorite because it helps with most shoulder issues. And then as you exhale, you can press your feet down and stand up. Look, I have no head. Okay, and then we'll come back down to chair. You can take your hands to your hips or blocks. Lift 
the right leg and make sure it's nice and sharp and it's energetic and your feet and your legs are all doing something. Step back, take a breath or two, and then as you exhale, draw the belly in, back knee comes down, find your kneeling. Your choice as to whether you use a little support. Don't be afraid to ask for support, especially from inanimate objects. That's what they're there for. And we'll do the other side. Take it a moment or two. And then as you exhale, it's lift through the breath, right foot forward. You can take your blocks with you anywhere you want to go. Inhale, curl the back toe. Exhale, lift the belly, lift the back leg. And then you can either drag your back foot forward or lift it. Breathing a few times. Or at least until you feel like you need to step forward into chair. You can take your genie arms. And then try to make the whole body act like it's its own breathing organ. So every time you inhale, you sort of sit lower and you extend things a little bit. And then as you exhale, there's a little sense of gathering of the muscles of the shoulders lifting and then when you have to when you feel like it's appropriate take your hands down the left leg will lift again it doesn't have to go high and if it comes down like a sack of bricks that's fine but we will find a spot to plant it let the back knee come down slow come back to upright kneel and then back here Okay, so you can try that on your own. You can try that again with varying props, and I hope it helps your balance because it certainly has helped mine. See ya.